Today's video is going to be messed up by the wind. Ain't that right, Mr. Kid? Ain't that right, baby? I'm going to do my best. Now, my mod will block most of it, but not all of it. And if you can see that flag, hold on. Let me turn the camera around. Yes, this is through the windshield. I'm going to probably zoom in on this shot and post. That flag, well, it's not pinging now, but it was a few seconds ago. All right, puppy, come on. You ready for a walk today? Huh? Okay, stay. But daddy closed the door. Stay. Okay, let's go get some grass. Then we'll do our walk. I was down at another place walking, but the wind was too terrible down there. I was going to do a whole other video today, but something happened, and I'm doing this video. And it has something to do with this. That's right. This and this. And Kit, you are pulling me. Come on, road. Good boy. Well, we're gonna get a walk on. I'm gonna try my best to do the vlog entries when the wind isn't at its worst. Yeah, right now it's not too bad. You know, I honestly thought, oh, there's that wind. Oh God, I hope it ain't messing it up. I honestly thought I would be able to go a whole season for a whole year, so to speak, about somebody making some kind of comment about my facial fur. Mr. Kid, if you have a bowel movement, that's going to be a little bit bad because I left the bag in the car. That's okay. All I had to do is go way over yonder there and get one. So, we have to choose which place is closer to the car or the bag stand. All right, this little spot has no wind. I honestly thought I would be able to make it through this whole year without any negative comments on my beard <laughs> what the heck was i thinking okay here's what happened i probably should do this yeah let's do this whole clip right here then oh there's that wind okay tell you what let's let me get to the other side i'm sorry guys i really am trying to hide from the wind because i don't know what the mod is picking up and what oh here we go well i was walking to the other place and there was another lady over there walking and the other lady had a dog, a smaller dog than Kit. She struck up a conversation. She was asking questions about Kit and this and that. And Kit didn't seem to be too scared. But I told her all about Kit being scared around other dogs. But he's getting better at it. And, you know, a pretty good conversation went on for about two or three minutes. We talked about how windy and nasty it was down there. And she looked at me, she's like, yeah, you could definitely tell. Does that ever get up in your eyes or ever get up, you know, in your mouth? I mean, does it ever get tangled on your uh, hoodie? I was like, not that I really pay attention. I say the lady was roughly about my age, you know. Uh, she seemed like a really nice person. And then she says to me, she's like, it never fails. Uh, in the conversation, I had mentioned that I used to do a heck of a lot more laps, you know, before I hurt my leg. I said, yeah, I'm feeling kind of older nowadays. And she looks at me straight in the eye and says, well, you shaved that stuff off your face. I'm sure you'll look much younger. Yeah. If I had a nickel every time somebody told me that. Yeah. There's only one person that says that, and I don't, my wife says that jokingly to me on occasions. Okay, Kit, don't you want no more grass, baby? Okay, Sid. Okay, I'm using a different treat today, so I ran out of my other ones. I'm breaking pieces off. This has like a cheesy thing to it, and I'm being very easy on it right now, because I don't want it to hurt his belly, because I don't know how he will react with new treats. Okay, I'm feeling really bad right now. Whew. We just walked through a huge gust of wind. Really bad too, and oh my god. It, it picking up the leaves and debris scared the crap out of Kit. Oh, and at the same time, about two or three police cars are pulling in behind the Boy Scout cabin. And then they all take off at the same time. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, back to the beard. I get this all the time, and I honestly thought this year I, I wasn't going to get any rude comments. So I looked at the lady. I was like, ma'am, I hear this a lot. And my own wife says this. 
I was like, I hear it so much, I'm numb to it. I said, do I really, really look that bad? Does it really matter on how I present myself? She's like, well, you fit in with the rest of the town around here. I said, yes, ma'am, I do. I said, there's a reason I grow in this part of the fur for right now. It's to fight the elements because I'm a walker and I'm out in the elements. Plus, I'm a hiker and all that stuff. My poor wife can't grow a beard. Yeah, I do think about that at times. Normally, when somebody says something to me, uh, I always get the rude negative comments about the goatee or beard. I don't, normally, I don't say nothing back to them. No. And sometimes I'm like uh, wishing I did, but I can't bring myself to say anything rude back. Why well, did say anything rude back to this lady? But no, I did inform her on something. I said, ma'am, I said, if I made a comment on your makeup, if I made a comment on your earrings, if I made a comment on your hair, and Lord forbid if I ever made a comment on your weight, would these be hurtful things to you? She's like, I get your point, Mike. I get your point, and I'm sorry. It's the first time somebody has ever apologized. I said, I would never say things like this to you. This is none of my business. You can have hair spiked up. You can have tattoos all over your face. You can have earrings all the way down to your feet. I would never say a word to you because that's how you want to present yourself. And I stand behind that. Okay, I don't know what to do right now, guys. Uh, as soon as I started the next lap, oh, in about five, 10 minutes down that way, we'll be going around that wind tunnel again. Where we ran across that gust. And I don't want to scare my puppy any more than what he was uh, not that long ago. Kit, what should we do, baby? You know what we can do? We can try that, leave it, leave it, leave it. Here, I got something that tastes better than that rock. Here, leave it, leave it, here, leave it. Oh, please. You swallowed it. What are you, a dinosaur? You know, that's what dinosaurs would do. They will swallow little rocks to help them go poo. You ain't no dinosaur, is ya? Okay, I guess that is a no. Okay. I guess we're gonna try it. Okay, real quick, if you guys have been following me on videos, you know I used to I keep uh, dog food down here, right? To mark my miles. I changed it over. I got three little rocks. These marks the miles, that's two. I got one more to do. But if we run across that wind channel up here again, I may not have any more to do. That was kind of spooky. It really scared Kit to death on that one. Now I'm feeling guilty. Then what am I doing? I'm taking them around again. There's right here in this spot is where all that wind kicked up. And Kit ran towards the grass, his tail between his legs. Can we get some grass time? Okay. We shouldn't stay here in this spot, Kit. So that wind could pick back up. We're better off down that way. You know, I never did grab that bag out of the car. No. Whoop. I don't know what it is, but every year somebody says something about my beard i do get a lot of compliments haven't received any this year so far and yes the good compliments outweigh the bad but be right back every time we stop kit is trying to eat things off the ground okay kit stay we're gonna do it here because that wind's bad right around that corner but come march like every year I shave off this sides and go back to the long goatee. I never trim it. And when I grow the rest of the fur here in for the winter elements, I don't trim it. That's why it looks all bushy and probably looks like crap. It does. I admit it does. And yes, it's snowball white. It makes it adds age to me. I know, but it keeps my face from getting frostbite. Yeah. Now back to Angie. We have done some hikes. I said Hanks, Hanks, and we've done some Hanks. Oh, there's that wind, ha <laughs> ha, is it messing me up? Oh shoot, hang loose buddy, hang loose. Just stay here till it passes, forward. Yeah, the reason I stay put because there was some branches flying ahead of me. But anyway, we do have something in the back of the car for Angie's face as well, if she ever chooses to use it. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to put this in the car and go finish out my walk. 
uh leave comments i got kid on here as much as i could that is because i do have a lot of women folks that watch my videos and they're sitting there probably saying mike really it's about a beard nobody cares about a beard at least i can see them saying that so i put kid in for them all right guys weekend's coming up uh saturday it looks to be very very i don't know we'll see what we can do sunday we we're supposed to get snow on friday yeah, today's about thursday yeah supposed to get snow on friday so depending on how much snow's left on the ground friday or saturday i can't remember i think it's saturday maybe depending on what we do for adventures we will do something no matter what we will come up with something till next time thanks for watching come on let's get out of here I still got more walking to do. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments. You ready, Kit? Let's try to beat that wind. Thanks again, guys.